Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Well, hi everybody. I wanted to go ahead and say thank you for all the birthday wishes. I had a wonderful birthday. I did. Uh, yesterday was my birthday for those that are new here. 13th of August. So my husband decided he would take me out, which is wonderful. And he's like, first of all, he's like, what, what do you want to do? We all have our quirky little things. One of the things I like to do is we have a thrift store that's pretty local to us that I just really enjoy going to. I really do. Um, you know, I always find something fun. And on Tuesday, they had uh, senior day. Senior day is 20% off. Well, it was my birthday yesterday and then I qualify as a senior now. That's right, I qualify as a senior. So I wanted to go and get something, anything, right? And have my husband take a picture of me underneath the 20%, you know, the senior's 20% discount sign. And I don't know, I just thought it was really quirky. We went and they're getting ready for a really big sale so things were really moved around and everything i didn't end up finding anything i wanted uh, but i'll get that picture i'm just gonna say i will get that picture we all have our quirks you're like really you want the senior discount why not you know um i remember with my dad many years ago i mean he's he's been passed for quite some time but uh i think mcdonald's at the time gave senior discounts you got a free cup of coffee uh when you were 50 and because my, my dad uh, passed 51 years old so you know he was getting that free cup of coffee and at first it kind of it kind of bothered him a little bit and then he's realizing it's like no i'm going to get my free cup of coffee you know he and my mom and everything would go and get a free cup of coffee and whatever else that they were gonna get and it's just kind of a quirky funny memory so i wanted to go and find some trinket right that somebody else let go that was going to be my little treasure and trinket and uh, get 20 percent off on tuesday the senior discount day yeah yeah okay so that was that was kind of a bust but we tried you know but when you're going to the thrift store you just never know i mean it's just it's a treasure hunt that's all so had fun doing that and then my husband took me out to eat, which was very enjoyable. We we had a we we went out more for brunch than later on in the evening. So we went and had a nice brunch together, and uh, then walked to a local bakery and had uh, a dessert, and came home, and went into a massive food coma. I wow, you know, we didn't overeat. That wasn't it. Um, since uh, about May, uh, I've changed. Hubby and I, our whole diet has completely changed. I've been cooking absolutely everything. My husband has dropped 30 pounds. I've dropped quite a bit, not as much as he has, but I've dropped quite a bit. So this was eating out and not worrying about what we ate. And we're not used to that. I'm going to say that we're not used to just, you know, going to a restaurant and my body is like, I, I need, I need something. I need some time alone and I need to relax and sleep. What did you do? So I thought that was just kind of funny. I'm like, okay, well, you know, got to detox off of eating out one time, one time. It wasn't fast food either. I mean, come on, it wasn't fast food, but, uh, thought that was funny. So it was, it was a fun, relaxing day. I, I of course take my knitting with me everywhere and uh, was working on some projects and everything then, but I wanted to show you my progress because the pattern on this thing is so easy and so repetitive. It is just, it's a car project. It's anything else. I've got a lot of work done on it. And you know, my husband was spoiling me today on my birthday, just little things right just wonderful quirky little things that mean something to me that probably nobody else would really notice but i noticed because he's wonderful i worked on his sweater that's right it's the third sweater from my viking book right here i am making this one right there on the cover for my husband i mean it is amazing so I'm using a Malabrigo yarn on this. I've got a full skein here. Here it is. We know I love those colors, right? But this is his sweater. Look how pretty that looks on me. But yeah, this is his. So this is a, a uh, worsted weight, I believe. Yeah, it's 210 yards worsted weight. It's 100% uh, superwash merino wool. And I'm having a blast. So I've gotten quite a bit done. If you remember, previously got this on the holders this is the body i have three full skeins 
in that. I mean, look how nice that looks on me. It does. It does. It's beautiful. So I have three full skeins in this. And look what I started. Yeah, I started the sleeve. I don't. I'm not doing two at a time. Probably should have, but I haven't. Um, but yeah, I got my sleeve. I have my marker there. I just use uh, a thread and, and I th wind that up every time I do an increase, right? Because I'm started with the cuff and then increasing to go on the other arm. So every time I do an increase, I'll wrap that around on both sides, my marker, right? So that way when I'm making my second one, I can make it exactly the same and I don't have to count so drastically and go, wait, how many did I do? Was it every five, every six, every whatever? So pro tip. Yeah, pro tip. So did that, but there we go. And that is, this is what I have left of this skein. It's not quite long enough yet because my husband's got really long arms too. You know, we both do. And look at that. Oh, and you can see the marker that I've got right there. But isn't that stunning? You know, that's going to be, it's going to be a beautiful sweater. What do you think? Huh? Huh? That's, that's, that's going to be pretty nice, right? There, I'm pretending like it's done. It's not done. It's nowhere near done. But look at that. So this is my fourth skein into this. Yeah, I've got, um, I have three more. Yeah, I've got one, two. Yep, I have these two. And being really smart, I wound the next one. Yes, I did. I've got the next one wound up. So I am ready to continue on. So it's, it's uh, going a lot quicker. Uh, I just that you, you may or may not have already seen where I just showed finishing off my Busy Bee sweater and my husband's Viking sweater that was number two that I made out of the book. You know, just finished those. And and as I started at the end of last year, I looked at it December 30, okay? And I started mine January 27. At least that's what I wrote down. And I just finished mine. I finished his earlier. We just didn't do a photo shoot. But, you know, that's a long time. And I'm working on this and getting farther, right? Yes, I'm getting farther. It's cool. Look at that. It's so pretty. So it is growing. It has not been languishing. Uh, I think I might have started like a month ago, something like that. And I've got four skeins into it, maybe five weeks, whatever. But having the, the four skeins, that's awesome. Um, I've got three more. So that tells you that I'm over halfway down yardage wise. I don't know if I'm going to need all seven of them. I really don't, or, or however many I bought. I don't know. I'm four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I, got, I guess I got seven, seven of them. I thought I might get eight. Do I have another one around here somewhere? I thought I bought eight. I don't know. Um, but uh, I really didn't know how many I would need when I bought the yarn. I didn't have a pattern specific in mind. But uh, I keep going back to this Viking book. It's just, you know, for me, it's been amazing. I've made, uh, well, two and a half sweaters, right? Because it's not done yet. And I, I'm really enjoying it. Hobby likes the patterns. I like them. There's no crazy stitches. There's no, you know, oh, I've got to reconvert everything. So it's been wonderful. It really has. It's nice sometimes to let somebody else do the numbers for you. Yeah, I did gauge swatches for the other two and they lied. And uh, I got a full skein into it and then had to rip it out. This one, I did not do a gauge swatch. I counted the stitches I made on his first sweater and I started it. And then of course I added four stitches and then I was stressed because I'm like, it's too big, it's too big, it's too big. So yay, third time's the charm, not having to pull out a full skein of yarn, right? To finally get something on it. But uh, like I said, I am just beside myself happy. Oh. I got, I got a sleeve. For those that have been around for a while, you know, sleeves are a thing. Uh, they're a thing. It's like, you know, I'll get the body done. I'll get the whatever done. And it comes to the sleeve. I'm like, I don't wanna. And then I start something new because, uh, hello, the new things are fun too. And I have a blast with that. But uh, like I said, today it just seemed, it just seemed appropriate to to work on my hobby stuff and to get it to grow just a little bit more. And you know, even if you don't put a whole bunch on it, just pulling it out of the bag that whatever bag that you might have your projects hibernating in and doing a row or two, what that does, or a few stitches, let's not get crazy. Some things a row is, is a lot, right? It depends on what you're making. Now, sometimes that's a lot, a lot to ask. But putting a few stitches on it keeps it fresh in your mind you um, keep it kind of around there. You remember what's going on. And that's huge because sometimes I'm not going to lie. I have a bunch of projects around here 
And the, the thing that's daunting is trying to pick it up and remember where was I, what was I doing? Which is crazy because I think most of the time when I've done that, when I've just put everything aside and stop worrying about it, stressing about, it, oh, I won't have anything to show, I won't have this, I won't, whatever, um, you know, stop doing that type of stuff, putting that external pressure, which makes no sense, sit down with it and figure it out. And it's, it's never been as bad as I thought. It's never been as cumbersome as I've thought. And you know, I might not finish the project exactly like the pattern stated, but it's okay. I'm still able to work through and, and finish something. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll, well, I'm not going to push this aside. It doesn't need to be pushed aside. It's so nice, but maybe I'll do that. I have been um, suggested that I grab some projects that have been languishing. And, and yeah, if you've been around, you know, there's definitely some projects that have been languishing and there's more you've never seen. Uh, and see what I can do with it, you know, kind of dust off the cobweb, so to speak. And can I figure it out? Um, that's the crazy part is trying to figure it out. Uh, either rip it out and that I'm not too interested in. Um, and the reason I say that is if it's a project that I have no intention of finishing, I do have some of those tucked in little nooks and crannies and everything behind me on the other side, what have you. But I just look at that as yarn ready to be reused. Sometimes I'll even do that and I'll pull the needles out. I will. If it's a crochet hook, I'll put the crochet hook back. I don't remember what it is. And if it's knitting, I'll pull the needles out, put them away and everything because that's just yarn ready to be reclaimed. I'm not so concerned about rewinding it. I mean, sometimes I will, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that doesn't bother me in the least. Uh, but it would be kind of nice to revisit some things. And I've got a couple in mind and I've had a couple suggestions uh, from the comments in mind too. And if you've been around for a while and you've seen different, um, different days with me talking and, and bloviating about yarn and, and making things, if there's something in particular that you remember that you haven't seen finished, drop in the comments, you know, maybe, maybe that's it. I'll do the poll kind of a thing, you know, what have you and, and whatever, um, gets the most comments or something along that line. I don't know. Um, I might pull it out of the, uh, you know, dust off the cobwebs, pull it out and everything and, and add a few stitches to it. And sooner or later it'll get done. That's the only way that's going to happen. So yeah, I think that sounds like a fun idea. If there's anything that you remember that I haven't done, and I've got a few things in my head that I know I'm going to get slammed with. I, I, I just 100% know it. Go ahead and put those in the comments and we'll start working on it. I, I, I can do that. I can. Yep. All right, everybody. With that, I'm going to just end the day, the evening, and, and on this, this yarn fumes high of accomplishment and just such an absolutely wonderful day with my husband. And I'm going to let you guys go. You guys have a great day, night, evening, Ever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.